Hey guys, I'm just Josh and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Martyr Lock. In the last episode, we took on Kiawe's fire trial at the Wella Volcano National Park and got ourselves a ride at Charizard. Hence why we're back here on, I don't know if you can tell from the scenery, we're back on Mele Mele Island, coming back and doing a couple things that we missed the first time, namely getting several encounters. Um, and we got two of those in the last episode. So if you want to go see who we captured in the last episode, I'm pretty happy with both of them. But if you want to go see who we captured, you should go back and check out the last episode because uh, that's probably more exciting than me telling you, though I will tell you. Uh, we caught a Crabrawler, the fighting type, which is exciting. Cubone! We also managed to capture a Feebass. And the exciting thing about Feebass is that in today's episode, as we continue our search... Our hunt, I should use Recover against this thing. I just remembered Kosam the Starmie has Recover and we can uh, get a little bit of HP back while we're training Kosam up. Uh, the exciting thing about today's episode, oops, I definitely wanted to use another one, that's okay. The exciting thing about today's episode is that we are going to be able to get the Prism Scale, which is the item required to evolve Feebas into Milotic. Now, obviously we're not gonna add him to the team immediately, but it's at least nice that we're going to have it. We're also just going to get an encounter there, which is uh, pretty exciting if I do say so myself. Okay, so I would like... You're level 19. I think I'm just going to yeet out. I trust Kosam to get the job done, but I trust Rexter even more. Like, don't get me wrong. I bet Kosam at full HP, you could take out this Charizard. But like 100%, I know that this lovely Tyrantrum will be able to take out this Charizard. So we're going to do that instead. Now I still, I gotta say, we do not have a rock type on Rexter yet, and you're going to lower my accuracy, which is quite annoying. We land the core enforcer though, which is wonderful. Very glad we have this move because it's beautiful to watch. Is it just me or is it one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen in your entire life? Your ability was suppressed. I don't know what Charizard's ability is, so that doesn't help me. We quad resist that. The burn is annoying, but this is a special move, so we actually may still take you out here. The burn basically just means that I'm gonna have to, uh... Nice. The burn just means I'm gonna have to heal him after this battle, which isn't the most annoying thing on planet Earth, but, you know, just it's a tiny little inconvenience. What's that the equivalent of? It's like... It's like when you go to the grocery store and you got a bag full of groceries and you go to the first lane over and then the lady was like, oh, I'm actually going on break. Can you actually take all those groceries? You've already unpacked them and put them on the thing. And she's like, can you take those and go put them over there? It's like a slight inconvenience, it, but you're still alive and able to pay for groceries. You live in a country that allows you to be able to eat food and survive. And you have a job and, you know, things are going pretty good. First world problems is all I'm trying to say. So, um, that's basically the equivalent of what just happened there. I'm glad we're getting a couple trainer battles to do. Because, uh, we do... Oh, I forgot to put a repel up. I forgot to put a repel back up. You're beautiful. I would love to add you to the team, but I cannot. Because we already got our encounter in this area. Kosei, I'm already level 20. Look, they grow up so fast. <laughs> okay. The question is, it, this is, I'm not going to use the repel. This is something that always percolates in my brain. By using a repel, I know that the chance is small, by the way. I know it's like a literally one in 4,000 chance. But nonetheless, there are shiny Pokemon out there. And by turning off repels, you eliminate any, here, this is another great example of a minor inconvenience. Is it a minor inconvenience to have to continually encounter Pokemon while you're walking through an area? Yes, it is. However, by eliminating that minor inconvenience, you remove all chance of ever finding a shiny Pokemon. Is that worth it for some people who value the convenience? It just might be. But for someone like your boy, who values whimsy and cosmetics. I want a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> and I know it's like slim to none, never gonna happen. It's only happened, how many, how many different Nuzlocks have I done in my life on YouTube? I have done 
I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of how many different... Uh, I mean, I've done every generation at least once. So that's eight. And then I've done several twice. This is actually my third time doing eighth gen. So let's call it ten there. Plus I've done black one and black two. So that's eleven. Plus I went back to first gen with Totter. Although there weren't shiny Pokemon in original red and blue, so that doesn't count. I'm going to guess I've played through 12 different playthroughs on the channel. And in one of them, I found a shiny Pokemon. All episodes made to lead for every single time. And in one of them, only one of them, did I find a shiny Pokemon. And it was during grinding. Epic music. Um, Ursa Ring. I'm going to get out for this, obviously. Yeah, I've only found one shiny Pokemon. It was a shiny Darumaka during our Pokemon Volt White playthrough. And the thing about this music is epic. The thing about that playthrough is that it was so difficult. I was constantly having to, um, don't pursue me. Okay. I was constantly having to, what song? Is this the Elite Four music? The champion? Whatever. I was constantly having to grind up new Pokemon because I would lose like three Pokemon an episode. So the chances of me finding one in that playthrough were supremely high just because of how ridiculously much I had to grind. So that's understandable. But I've never found another one in my entirety of playing all these Pokemon games on the channel. So all I'm saying is let's maximize the chances. Feels like a good idea in my opinion to maximize the chances because you never know what it might be. If we got a shiny Luxio, I'd flip. Now if it ends up being like a shiny Whimsicott, a little bit less exciting in my book. Give me shiny Croconaw. I love me some Croconaw. I know I complained about water types last episode and how we have an abundance of them in the box. Give me that. <laughs> Give me the Feraligator. Is there anything left for us here to do? I think we may, there may be one or two more trainers. But other than that, I think we've stayed our welcome here. So after this, we do not want shiny that. After this, we will um, ride Charizard over to the next area, which is Kale Bay. That means we also have to go through that cave, which is not super exciting. The cave is not fun to walk through. Is there not a swimmer that swims around here? I thought there was a dude who was doing laps back here. Am I just incorrect? Starting to think I may just be incorrect. I don't know though. We'll figure it out one way or another. Ooh, that's experience. We got to fight this thing. We have to fight this thing, unfortunately. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take some time. To re uh, question of the day. I'm trying to think of when I would have watched Drake and Josh. What year was that? What year was Drake and Josh at his peak? Probably like early middle school for me. Maybe like mid middle. I'm going to guess like seventh grade. And seventh grade for me would have been when I was like 13. No. 13? 12? You start kindergarten when you're four. Plus seven, eight, 12? I'm gonna say 12. I'm gonna guess I was 12. I do have a late birthday as well. When you were 12 years old, when you were 12 years young, what was your favorite television program? I don't know for a fact that mine was Drake and Josh, but it was probably up there. I was a big, uh, I was a big Drake and Josh fan. I was a big Danny Phantom fan, although I don't remember when that was out. I do not remember when that was on the television. So we have Zag and Cody was pretty great. I'm trying to think of all these things from around that time period. What else did I watch? I didn't do much Cartoon Network. Not much of a card. Maybe when I was like younger, younger me, like eight, nine, ten. More Cartoon Network there. Courage's Cowardly Dog, Dexter's Laboratory, Codename Kids Next Door, etc. Those were great. Then I got older and I moved over to Nickelodeon, which is pretty much backwards from how it typically goes. So I don't really know how that happened. But it was the it was the live action series, the Drake and Josh's. They pulled me in. Where in the world am I? I'm, I'm lost. And I don't even know that it's worth fighting these anymore. Horsey. Do we have a horsey? 
For some reason, I feel like we captured a horsey in this playthrough, but we clearly did not because it doesn't have a thing next to its name. So I'm going crazy and that's okay. Sometimes it's okay. Okay, there's the swimmer man. Okay, we're gonna fight this guy and then I'm out of here. This is a large ocean. Oh, I have a little mini map in the bottom right. That's how I can figure out where I am. We're gonna fight this guy and then we're gonna go ahead over to Kale Bay. I'm hoping we can actually make some progress in today's episode. Like just a little bit of progress. Not, not a ton of progress, but like a little, 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 little bit of progress. Sudowodo. This should be an easy enough battle. You only know counter. I don't think you know mirror coat. So we should be safe to go for water guns here. Yes, we should be safe to go for water guns here. That's extremely exciting. Uh, three of these will take you out. Two of these will take you out. You're, oh, you're gonna learn water gun. Well, that's not that scary. Cause you're never even gonna get to use it. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, Pseudo Udo. This is like getting a degree in landline telephones. And then the second you graduate from college, Apple comes out with the iPhone. I'm sorry, but what you just did is worthless. What you just learned is useless. Okay, let me fly. I'm ready to fly. I think we're done here. We've done all there is to do here. We would like to Charizard Glide up, uh, up here in this area. Again, we're gonna have to go through this cave, which is gonna be obnoxious. I know I just said the whole, I went on the big spiel about shiny Pokemon and not using repels because there's a chance you get a shiny Pokemon. I may like undermine everything I just said because uh, going through this cave, we're gonna be getting encounters nonstop. So I'm, I may go back on what I said there just to minimize the chances that that happens. <laughs> and just so that we can, again, I, there, there is a nice balance. I want the chance, maybe we should walk through and see what kind of things are in there. And if it's garbage anyway, we can be like, eh. What was our encounter in here, Umbreon? We got an Umbreon in here. I mean, a shiny Umbreon would be cool, not gonna lie. Charger Bug is pretty cool. I like Charger Bug, so. That was my first shiny that I got in Pokemon Sun and Moon, was shiny Grubbin, not Charger Bug. Depending on what else is in the cave, we may pop up a Repel because uh, encounter rates in caves are very high, so in an effort to to move a little bit quicker. If it's looking like it's just charge of bugs, we may yeet. I'll, I'll give it one more encounter. If it's not something that makes me go, wow, that's super cool. Then we will throw up a rappel just to get through here a little bit quicker. Just the slightest amount quicker. Let's see what we got. What do you got for me? What do you want from me? Semi-exciting, it's interesting, but um, I think unfortunately, we're gonna throw up the rappel. We're gonna, we're gonna throw up the rappel. <laughs> Hate to say it, but uh, absolutely gonna throw up a rappel here. Just to get us to our next, I'm excited for the next encounter. I have a really good feeling that it's not gonna be a water fighting type. Why? Watch it be a water fighting type. Polyrath coming in. I have a good feeling it's not going to be a water or a fighting type, mostly because we've captured so many of them that we're running out. Natural gift. Mm, mm, kind of yuck, not going to lie. Not the most excited about that of anything I've ever been. Isn't there? Yeah, there's like, there's like rocks over here, right? Yes. Just kidding. Not rocks. Expert belt is good. Expert belt is a solid item. I'm happy to have you. They're not wrong. I thought there was stuff to break over here. Apparently I am clearly wrong. I think we're right by the exit. I thought we could make it out with having- I didn't want to have to run through a whole nother rappel. I thought we could make it out. Bone sweet. You just so yummy. I want to- <laughs> Adorable. You look like a little- look like a little sweet tart. A little nerds candy. Nerds rope. I don't know what kind of candy you look like. You look like a cherry sour. Those are delicious, by the way. I love cherry sours. Okay. So, Kali Bay. Alola. Such a beautiful night. Can we go through this dialogue again? This man just said, Would you like to see something fantastic? And I said, No. Accidentally. 
I'm not here to force anybody. I mean, that's amazing. I appreciate consent is a wonderful thing, and I appreciate you doing this. What are you gonna show me? Pokemon, no! No! This is not okay! See that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even gonna make the joke. I'm not even gonna make the joke. It's too gross. What do you think that is? The correct answer is that's the light of the wingfish Pokemon, Finian. They store up light from the sun. Okay, well. He said, please feel free to stop by any time. I can make any night feel like a special night. Yikes! Stranger danger, okay. Um, let's get this encounter that I'm excited for. Um, it's a Kale Bay encounter, and all that we are crossing these fingies for is no water types, no fighting types. No water types, no fighting types. Oh, and also, by the way, we're looking for prism scales in the meantime. I'm looking... Star piece. We're looking for prism scales in the meantime. Now, one question is, do we want to get the encounter here on the water? Or do we want to get it... There is some grass over there. We could also get the encounter in the grass, I suppose. I don't honestly know that it makes that much of a difference. So, I think we'll just... Uh, you know, if we can make it all the way over to the grass, we'll get the grass encounter. If we get it naturally here in the water, we'll get the water encounter. I don't think either one of them gives us any higher or lower a chance of getting a water type because everything is fully randomized, so it doesn't really matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. We, okay, our water Kahale Bay encounter is going to be... <gasps> What type are you? Like ghost dark or something? Psychic dark? Bruh. That's amazing. That's so good. That's such a good encounter. Are you are you part ghost? Is Swift even gonna hit you? Does not even hit you. Confuse Ray. Okay, okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Lunala. I'm picking up what you're putting down. What I gotta say is I'm here to spray you with a little water. Hopefully not get confused in the process. Oopsie daisy, I was. Second confused rate, joke's on you. Doesn't even work against me. Doesn't even work against me. And if you think I'm gonna hit myself in confusion twice, then you're 100% right. So you have confusion as well. All right, that's not very effective. If you pop off a ghost type move though, you may kill me. So, I think we need to go a little scary. A little scary. I'm going to stay in for one more attack. I'm going to go for a water gun. Snapped out of confusion. The water gun hits and does no damage. No damage coming in. What type are you? I need to know what type are you. Okay. Um, obviously, I would love to catch this thing. Obviously, I would love to capture this thing. Let's try to put it to sleep, I guess. Go for the yawn, put this thing to sleep. Maybe get some good stuff out of it. Confusion is not scary. Yo. Is this our first legendary encounter in the entire playthrough? I think it is. I think this is our first legendary encounter. No! Toodaloo! That was fun. I don't want to take pictures of anything right now. Words, uh... Words... Oh, that would have been sick too. 
Words, uh, words can't really describe how upset I am right now, so I'm just gonna pull hairs out one at a time until I remember what it feels like to be alive. Um, obviously that sucks. Obviously that sucks, like, real bad. We just don't get an encounter for the route is, uh, what happens, unfortunately, if you were wondering. We just don't get an encounter. Mega bee drill. Mega bee drill, everyone. Everyone, there's a mega bee drill in the water. Okay. Well, uh... Unfortunately, um... Can't, can't do anything with you either. I would love to just get away. And now that I know you have pursuit, I can't just, I can't just switch out, which stinks. So I'd like to just run away. Thank you. Um... We lose our Kahale Bay encounter, which stinks. I know there's a prism scale in here, I just don't know where. I just don't know where. Where is it? I looked it up and it said it was right here. That's how we're gonna get a Milotic, that's right. Yeah, I'm upset, you know, it's okay. You're a lot, everybody shows a little emotion. What is that sparkly thing over there? We're definitely gonna go check out that sparkly thing in just a second. And, you know, uh, ew, yuck, ugly, fire types, gross. Look, I'm fairly upset. I'm not gonna lie to your face. I could do it. I'm not going to. I'm fairly upset about the loss of our first legendary Pokemon. But, you know, that's what I get for asking for a non-water or fighting type. It's just the way the cookie crumbles at the end of the day, really. It's just, you know... You can't always get what you want. Uh, I don't know the words, but it's something like this. I know there's there's like a million songs on this planet that I know the general beat of and pitch shifts and things of that nature. Yet don't know how they go, what the words are. Spectral Thief sounds like the coolest move ever. What is it? What the heck is Spectral Thief? Excuse me. Spectral Thief is a base 90 power physical ghost type move that Lucario can learn. That Lucario can learn. I mean, that's pretty exciting, but he already knows Heart Stamp. I could teach Heart Stamp instead to Togetic and then give Lucario Spectral Thief. I think I will do that. Although Shellian is not much of a physical attacker. Yeah, 25 physical attack, never mind. We, we're not gonna do that. We're also not gonna teach him Spectral Thief because I like his moveset too much right now, so. Do we really need a ghost type at the moment? Uh, not too much. I don't see too much of a use for a ghost type move, so. Hello, I would like this sparkly thing, whatever it is. What is this? A bottle? Oh, another bottle. Sure, we'll open it. To the person who finds this letter, if you're reading this letter, please find my Lunala that ran away from me. Please find a way to deliver it to my little sister. She lives in Iki Town on Mele Mele Island. The place where I am now is really weird and looks unbelievable. Okay, your big brother. All right, big brother. Well, let's just get on with the adventure, I guess, because I'm upset. <laughs> Mostly, we need to get back to Akala Island. Hold on, yoink. We need to get back to Akala Island. I guess right here. And we need to continue. We may have another chance for an encounter in this episode. I think, okay, I think we may be able to get an encounter in this little tunnel here. If I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm not mistaken. I hope I am 100% correct. Because I would like to make up for what just happened, if at all possible. Let's talk to this lady first, though. No, it's Berry Man. I don't want to go to Berry Fields. You, you passed Kiawe's trial. Well done. Well, so that means you can now ride on Charizard. In that case, why don't I tell you about a great way to play with the Pokemon in your boxes? You ready for this? You press X. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. Thank you for not forcing me to go there. I appreciate it quite a bit. Oh, that's Fiery MZ. Congrats on clearing Kiawe's trial. In that case, open the tunnel for me, BB. 
Here you go, you're free to pass, Captain Mallow's trials up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush jungle. All right. Can we get an encounter in here? I think, like, uh, there's, like, little... I can't remember. There's, like, little spots. Please don't fight me. 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 What is this? The numbers keep climbing in my aura readings. Ah, Jersh, I bid you, Alola. Don't fight me, please. Mm, this fine tunnel, it is most fascinating to learn that there are a variety of construction methods made possible by the Pokemon that lend their aid to humans. Trial goers must clear many trials. It is only natural, perhaps, that such a trainer would exude aura after coming in contact with so many totem Pokemon to watch in aura. Oh, and young man, you seem to have even more Z-Crystals than when we last met. Do you hope to master the Z-Moves? Not really, because I've already mastered them. Oh, I punched myself in the face! Aha! That hurt real bad. Ow. <laughs> I mean, I got a lot of nose to punch, but I did not ever expect to hit myself in the face while doing that. That wondrous light that appears when a Z-move is used. We once had such light in our world as well, and it was precious to us, even if we did not use it to battle with Pokemon. Captain Fico, it is nearly time. While our technology is advanced, it must be modified to work to the fullest with Pokemon. We must now go to meet with a scientist who is versed in the ways of Pokemon, or we will have no hope of achieving such a thing. No battle, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I cannot say how happy I am. I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. Okay, can you not get encounters in here? Am I crazy? 100% wrong, there's no encounters in here? I swear in our Pokemon Ultra Moon Martyr Lock. I swear we got an encounter in here. I thought it was like a sh like a shadow from the ceiling. I could be wrong. Do they hold on? Maybe maybe try resetting. Maybe they just didn't like that uh, the team whatever goons were there. Please. <gasps> Ooh! Excellent. What is the name of this thing? Dividing Pass Tunnel or something like that? I don't. Doesn't matter. It's a new area. It's a new encounter. Our Dividing Pass Tunnel encounter. Shadow. It's crawling in my skin. Is going to be something good. No water fighting. No water fighting. It's water, but I love it. What is this hair doing? Excuse me. Get back in place. It's a water type, but I love it. I love a Raquinid a whole lot. Now, obviously, I cannot stay in. It's level 20. It's level 20. So I cannot stay in. I want this Pokemon. This is a good encounter. A Raquinid is Bay. I love this guy. His little bubbles. He's got Bubble Beam. That's okay. We really would prefer you to have Liquidation, but you know... All's well that ends well. I'm gonna hope you don't have a move that can take away your own HP because I'm gonna go for the false swipe. Infestation. That does nothing to me, but it does. Yeah, it does some damage each turn. That's okay. Another false swipe, please. Another false swipe, please. Bubble beam coming in. Not a problem. Not a problem. So we're going to take a couple more false swipes to get the job done. Um, obviously, I need to heal here. So we will do just that. Super Potion, Arthropod. We're going to get you down to 1 HP, and we're going to capture you. We're going to capture you, you little bubbly boy. You bubbly boy, bubble butt. I'm trying to think of nicknames already. You male or female? Infestation hitting. That's fine. I think we're still safe even from crits, so I'm... Oh, you're female. Mmm. Female. Bu I was thinking Bubble Buddy from SpongeBob. I gotta work bubble into something, right? The word bubble. Michael Bubble. Mike... Oh, you're... That's male, though. Who's Michael Bublé made to married to? Michael Bublé's wife, we could do. Um, I'm gonna go for... I think we're theoretically in crit range here, so just to be safe. Just to be ultimately safe. What is a female name that sounds like Bubble? Bob? Bob? 
Barbara? Bar- Bubbara? Ugh, yuck. Not good. Not a good nickname. Not my favorite nickname. I was freed from the infestation, which is great. Because now I can chuck some great balls at you. Let's try to capture this thing. Let's try to think of a better nickname than what's popped into my head thus far. Bubble. Bubblea. 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 That actually kind of rolls off the tongue. Not too bad. And so I think it's what we're going to go with. Plus, then I don't have to give it any more thought, which is also a nice benefit, in my opinion. Kosam grows to level 22, which is exciting. Araquinid's data is going to be added to the Pokedex. Do you say data or data? Let me know. It's data, by the way. Mm, I say them both ways. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It has a habit of storing things and values in its water bubble. If its trainer doesn't watch out, Araquinid will try to put them in its bubble. Okay, that's horrifying. Um, but we're going to call you Bablia. Bablia. Oops. B-U. B-B. L-E-A-H. Bablia sounds super friend, uh, super Italian for some reason. Bablia. It's a Bablia. We're going to go ahead and send you to the box. None of these Pokemon have been holding items, which is a little sad to me. Um, and with that, I think that's probably where we'll end the episode. Which is good because, uh, I'm not ready for the next episode. Let's take a look at the map here. Hold on. Let's take a little look at this map. Oops, wrong, wrong screen. Let's take a little... No, 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 don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I just want to see the map. Just want to see the map, sir. Just, no, 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 I just want to see the map. Just want to see the map. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. How do you open the map? Don't you just click on Rotom? What are you doing? There we go, okay. So on the map, this is the Pokedex! How do you open the map? <laughs> How do you open the map? Where's the map? Uh, freaking give me Charizard Glide, okay. So in the next episode, where are we? We're up here. The next Pokemon Center we have to get to is over here. That's a Kyle Island, can I zoom in? Yes, okay, here's what we have to do. In the next episode, we're right here. We're gonna get an encounter on Route 8. Can you get an encounter in the Fossil Restoration Center? I don't think so. However, we can get a static encounter. There is a Wimpod over here that you can statically encounter. In my, I, I'm gonna count it as a static encounter. I think it counts. You can get a Wimpod over here that you can statically encounter. And then we're at Lush Jungle which basically means we will be making a sacrifice in the next episode, so you're not gonna wanna freaking miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please consider showing some support down below in the form of liking, commenting, subscribing. They all help out a tremendous amount. And of course, share with your grandmother as always. Make sure she puts her dentures in first though, because she may wanna talk to you about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.